This is your host, Dr. Mesma Shabazz. Good afternoon and happy Friday, beautiful ladies. I'm so, so thrilled to be here. And I have an exciting news to share with you, and that is that our numbers are going up and a lot of listeners around the world. And that makes me really, really gratified. So I appreciate you, and I hope you continue to share the message and bring others on board. This Friday, this conversation, I'm going to talk about embodying praise, sacred and authentic movements. Now we have a saying in many communities in Africa, and one of them says that if you can walk, you can dance. Or usually it goes like this, if you can talk, you can sing, and if you can walk, you can dance. This particular episode, I'm going to focus on movement. It is one of my favorite sayings because it tells us that we've been gifted with an instrument of great spirit to experience life. So when we lose body wisdom, we lose the opportunity to dance and praise or celebrate the sacred. In native and indigenous cultures, the word sacred is embodied and it is manifest in many forms including movement. One of the main functions of movement in some of these traditions is to honor the earth, life, and ancestors. It is also a medium to preserve sacred practices and ritual, universal wisdom and values. In spite of the essence associated with these beliefs and practices, there have been some cultural shifts in the performance of these movements due to Western influence. For centuries, and in the face of colonization, military invasions, religious intrusions and restrictions, many native cultures have found ways to hold on to their tradition and movement because it is a medium that heightens their connection to nature, art, and spirit. I have seen a few women perform dances from various traditions, and I want to share my thoughts and wisdom on the experience as part of the conversation with women of power and grace. The first is Jill Guillermo Togawa, who founded Purple Moon in San Francisco. She used dance to shine light on stories from less visible communities. I saw her graceful, delicate, yet powerful presentation of the hula, which was a true reflection of what sacred movement is. The character of the dance, the emotion she showed, the powerful yet gentle movement in her feet, and the music were all synchronized and in perfect rhythm with her heart. The way she moved allowed me to go into some private space and emotions of my own. It allowed me some quiet time for reflection, even in that short moment. At a personal level, I felt a deep sense of pride and connection to the relevance and importance in maintaining tradition. After growing up in a strong traditional culture, often tainted with Western values and attitudes, it is sometimes difficult to delineate what is sacred, especially as related to movement. And I have some times taken for granted what I know and what I've been exposed to. I found Jill's movement to be authentic and watching her brought some memories about the soul dance. It's a tribal dance performed by the ever people of Ghana, Togo and Benin. 
both the hula and soul require passion. And the Torah's versions do not do justice to this, these sacred dances. The soul is a healing dance, and it is often referred to as the dance of life. So expresses our thanks to the earth, says Wyoma, which supports us constantly waking and sleeping. Through this dance, we also convey honor to our parents and to the ancestors, without whom we could never have gotten to where we are today. Finally, so it reminds us that whenever we feel unloved by others, we can always love ourselves. And that is Wyoming's words. The above statement represents one aspect of the dance. There are three other interpretations that deal with honoring one's mother, father, and ancestors, as mentioned before. Honoring one's destiny to complete what one sets out to do and honoring the goodness in one's heart to be welcomed anywhere in the world. Performed by women only, this powerful dance uses gentle, small steps, and most of the movement is concentrated in the solar plexus with well-coordinated uh, movements. The solar plexus is one of the power centers of the body and the gyrations generate charge energy in the center to empower the women. The solar plexus is associated with the functioning of the aura or psychic energy field and with etheric and astral plane sensitivity. Through the center, which seems to correspond in part to the spleen center of theosophy, the various spiritual energies enter for distribution to various parts of the body. The solar plexus chakra is also the center of etheric psychic intuition, a vague or non-specific sensual sense of knowing a vague sense of size, shape, and intent of being. Some have described the intricacies of the soul to be difficult, but the drum beats generate a common rhythm that encourages a participant to let go of all inhibitions. Now, drumming allows us to find the common rhythm the movement emanating from a certain vitality or inner life force on the microcosmic level. The common rhythm is the connecting force between two planes of reality, between the innermost recesses of absolute being and its outward manifestation in the world. Now, if you were to close your eyes and just feel the sound of the drums beating. You see how it meshes with your own heartbeat. The varied sounds of the drums in general resonate deeply in my soul because I have heard it all my life. And I think even before I was born, I have taken drum lessons in the past and I can attest to its healing power. Almost proficient at it. I have several African drums in my house. And I have a ritual every Friday evening to release all the stress accumulated during the week. It is energizing and spiritual. As a student of shamanism, the sound of the drum also allows me to alter my state of consciousness. This multidimensional way of being allows me to journey 
with my spirit guides and ancestors. Coupled with movement, I have found that it heightens my psychic abilities. It is worth mentioning that African dances, including the Suku from the Congo, represent the passion and sensual aspects of African dancing as so well. Most Africans live in an open society where food, dance, and community are shared. The wisdoms from ancestors are available to all, those who are willing to learn. And in spite of all the tragedies in local systems, that is the common denominator to our existence. We can count on this because our elders are always available to educate and participate in the practical aspects of learning. The presence of elders and intergenerational contact are the two things that make the society strong. When all these values are combined with movement, they generate an indescribable energy that permeates the earth and the heavens. Now, Africans dance in all sorts of occasions to express their inner feelings, whether of joy or of sorrow. While the dancing is spontaneous and voluntary, the drumbeat provides the rhythm that holds the dancers together. Although the drums in more recent years have become ornaments for decorating the home, as well as the popular souvenirs for tourists, their primary function remains their role in cultural activities and rituals. In villages throughout the continent, the sound and the rhythm of the drum express the mood of the people. The drum is a sign of life. It beats, or its beat is the heartbeat of the community. Such is the power of the drum to evoke emotions, to touch the souls of those who hear its rhythms. In the community, coming together in response to the beating of the drum is an opportunity to give one another a sense of belonging and, so, and of solidarity. It is a time to connect with each other, to be part of that collective rhythm of the life in which young and old, rich and poor, men and women are all invited to contribute to society. There are many tribes and languages in Africa and with colonization, it is normal to find members of the same tribe live in many communities apart. Despite this anomaly, when it comes to movement, we understand each other extremely well. Dance on the continent has dissolved borders and removed tribal barriers. We speak and dance the same language. This is powerfully conveyed through the various interactions and with different groups. The dance is strong magic. The magic is spirit. It turns the body to liquid steel. It makes it vibrate like a guitar. The body can fly with wing, without wings. It can sing without voice. The dance is strong magic. The dance is life. Participating in the authentic movement or spirit dance was an opportunity to go inward and tap deeply into my unconscious. It was safe in an environment. And apart from my partner witnessing the movement, I felt that whatever emotion or knowledge emerged, I was not going to be judged on them. 
Now, giving a little background about authentic movement is doing a dance without music or sound. It is just what you hear from your soul. The lack of sound or music enabled an inward focus, with generous spontaneity and improvisation of the dance. This is unique because factors like religion and or meditation do not influence the outcome and the movement in itself does not make the participant authentic. Authentic movement offers an opportunity to develop a deep self-sensing awareness. Authenticity is not a goal to be achieved, but rather a constant process of becoming it is both sought for through deep attention and waited for with humility. Each individual has to discover it in their own way, listening, tuning into, internally generated cues, a sensation, an image, an impulse, a feeling for some it comes as an urge to embody a rhythm. And then the rhythm itself takes them further into unplanned movement. Over the years, and now in the past, I had the tendency to hold so much in my body, especially painful events and memories. For many years, I was a pack rat, and I did not have any self-sustaining mechanism in place to help me deal with those emotions. I know that blockages, if not addressed, manifest physically into a disease, and I had to learn the hard way. It took a debilitating back injury and many years of learning to walk again to learn how to open up. Taking those baby steps into a new life allowed me to release those blockages. Once I did, I recognized how the universe unfolds in the body, which is its mirror and its creature. I believe it is through the process of becoming and knowing that creates authenticity, and that which is authentic is sacred. Loretta Green, another performer that I saw, her solo and liturgical dance routines were inspiring. The movement seemed complicated at first, but the energy and almost militant routine was uplifting. The second part of the performance was significantly calm. This time the song did the magic. I didn't know who was singing, nor the title of the song, but I was so deeply moved. When I did the all dance, I just wanted to fly. Sometimes it is difficult to describe what awe feels like. It is exalting and fascinating. I mentioned to Loretta that I wanted to slowly go down on my knees and weep when I tried her dance. The tears would have been a release as well as a relief. When I did this dance, I recognized that I had been through so many challenges and almost when it seems like all will be lost, Spirit steps in and shows her hand. I have known that the act of surrendering every pain, difficult experience of loss, illness, harsh realities of racism at work will give me that freedom to just fly. And flying to me is an expression of gratitude as well. It is that miracle that is ever so present that makes me strive for humility. I want to close by saying this. It is important to connect to whatever movement being performed. And it is the link to balancing the physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual. There are common elements to movement. It comes from a place of appreciation of being alive and on this earth. It is always linked to some emotion within and using dance as an expressive modality allows a timely release 
and processing of that emotion. The end result is always, is always rooted in freedom. And so I close this conversation this Friday by saying, dance, dance, dance. Move the body in however way you can. Move the feet, move the solar plexus, do the gyrations of the hips and move and dance and move and dance. Thank you, thank you.